Well, welcome back to more Let's Play Together, where we are visiting your cities. We are in Let's Play Together 5. Last episode, we visited this city and this city, which kind of concludes this portion of the region. So we've got some abandoned cities here and a city that hasn't been started here. So let's work our way in this direction. And we are actually... Let's see, this city has 3,000 residents, so we may or may not. So in all reality, we've got these two cities, and we'll be finished with Let's Play Together 5. Now keep in mind, Let's Play Together 5 has a lot of city plots that have been claimed, but have not been played. So I do not see cities, but... If you do decide to create a city in, in one of your claimed plots and we've moved on, just let us know. And, and I'm more than happy to come back and take a look at your cities. But yeah, let's, let's get started with our final two cities of Let's Play Together 5. So the name of this city, Gambling Epicenter. So I'm fully expecting to see some gambling, but right off the bat, this is beautiful. Look at this layout. Look at this. Wow, nice. Really nice. Let's, first of all, okay. All right, so industry. So one of the things that I've started to incorporate, which way is the wind blowing? Wonderful. Okay, the wind is blowing. The industrial germs and pollution away from the city. Good. So we've got... Residential, we've got a couple of spots of, all right, cool. All right, so, whoops, all right. So we come in, we've got parks, park and ride. It branches and elevate it. So let's let's just kind of get an idea into a a bit of a roundabout here. Same thing there. Interesting. So we've got a couple of branches there. Br branches there. As well as... Nice. Alright, so... Man, how do we... What a nice looking layout. So here is our city hall. On the outskirts. Residential. Let's go in this direction. So here we have some industry, some residential, sewage, water, and this is the one of the primary locations of our industrial, of our industry. Same thing here, kind of a mirror image of this. Okay. This looks high wealth. Look at the parks. This is definitely going to be... Okay, 
high wealth. And then over here, Now, keep in mind, if you really want to, oh, so, ah, if you were the mayor, did you get rid of the, zero resident riders, 16,000 tourist riders. I would have to go to a city. It, It's possible that this mayor got rid of the tourist, not the tourist, the residential terminal and just put down, oh, these are closed. May just be for decorative purposes. This is so cool. All right. And then in the middle, we've got two casinos, but also we've got towers. Okay, if you're the mayor, did you put down the sleek casinos to kind of mirror the look of these towers and then close them just because you were using these casinos for decorative purposes? Because they're close. Well, let's, let's look at... You're making money because these are also closed. Three are open, three are closed. All right, so Everything feeds into this circle. All right, so this neighborhood, if I needed to get to this neighborhood from the outside, I would do this. And then take this road down there. Okay, and is it the same situation over here? Yes. I love this overpass, and I love these pedestrian walkways. This is nice. This is nice. I love the fact that I'm not... I, I love the fact that there's so much going on from a design standpoint that I'm, I'm actually kind of bouncing around, kind of struggling to, 
to look at this section by section. I'm just I'm bouncing around. Nice. We got university. All right. So this is called gambling epicenter. Let's let's start there. First of all, city specialization looks like city's making money. Let's let's look at it this way. All right. So these are closed. Three of the towers have turned into buildings that are catering to tourists. Here we've got elegant, casi elegant casino making really nice profit. nice profit oh and look at this so this entrance is here and the entrance to this one is there which should help traffic flow this is an add-on to the elegant casino over here we've got another one making money you've got three elegant casinos making money which is no small task fully upgraded let's see I want to see the flow of people so These are high wealth. Then we've got the orange. So the high wealth are, are coming in on your, your ships. I see just a handful of medium wealth. But this is mostly a, this is how your high wealth residents look at the ships crash. <laughs> crashing into each other. Look at that. They are really lined up. Then we've got the double-decker bus terminal. Look at that. 18,000 high-wealth visitors. Just under 3,000 medium-wealth and just a bit over 2,000 low-wealth. This city is catering heavily to high wealth visitors which is why we're seeing more of this color the low and medium wealth look at that we've got some low wealth taking the Nice. They're staying in the hotel. You got some staying in that hotel. And that one. They will stay in the hotel if you provide hotel lodging. Whether you do it or the simul... I, I prefer to do it myself. Now this... Six hotel guests. Forty-three... 34 compared to 23, 191, and this one I think had a pretty decent number. Great job by the mayor. So 
They will stay the night and they will continue to gamble and spend money in your city the following day. Now we've got this. Great job. So, what that means... I get the feeling it was hard to keep these running. There just aren't enough visitors because this caters. But then again, you could. You could get some high wealth in here. If you're the mayor. Are these here for just design purposes? But if they were open... No, never mind. This city's making 31,000 simoleons an hour. If these were open, they would not deplete... So I don't know why they're closed. Can we see any pedestrians walk? Oh, look at school bus. Maybe this was early on? I don't know. Lots of walkways. So the university is here, so these have got to be walkways put down because of the university. I don't see anything else in which you could utilize put down walkways. It's 5.40. Evening rush. Look at that. Nice. Nice. Let's come over here to this. So, we have another way in. Airships. Amazing, amazing that we've got airships. Where is my, I, I was just there. Where is the, oh. It's rare that the airship and the bus terminal are not bringing in what, look at that. Look at that. Awesome. So over here we've got... Is that the only source of electricity? And do we see the module? I don't see the module that would boost this power even more. Oh, I know how we can check as well. Let's do this. Let's go to control. Yeah, no control net. Is there anything using control net? No. That's one way of finding out if this. So if you wanted to You would have to hope that another neighbor 
or you would have to start another city because you don't have space for it. But but you've got a really nice amount of electricity. Oh yeah, you you you've got double. You need 135 megawatts and your your capacity is 330. Awesome. Maybe it's a young. Give it time. I, I was expecting a really high, high. This is a great approval rating, but I was thinking it was going to be high 80s or low 90s. You have a couple of red. I wonder why. Need freight. This is, this is tweaking. These are little tweaks. So, need more shops and we're sick. Because the high wealth, but there's a clinic right there. So I bet you this clinic, look at all the add-ons to the clinic. I bet you this mayor has been trying to keep these individuals. This may be just simply a matter of demolishing. Demolish that building. Let it grow back. Because I don't see a major health issue, even though they're talking about they're sick. And it's red. And this one need more shops soon or we'll leave. So in that case, if, if yeah, I would just turn this, I would zone this commercial, this commercial, if this were a commercial building with all of these shoppers, they would be happy and demolish that, let it grow back and see if the simulation, because I don't see a major health issue. And then over here, what's going on? We need freight. I was trying to see if I could find a spot for more. Man, I would hate to, if, if they're screaming for freight. Could almost turn that residential. And then. Need freight. I would make that residential. You know, that commercial building's doing just fine. Close for the day. Not a, so this is that fine tuning. That's what this is. Nice. Those tweaks would get this into the 80... I'm, I'm just, I'm positive of it. Those tweaks. 
because this is an, a really nice city. So for me, this mayor in this city really deserve an, an 88, 89, 90% approval rating. And they're just a few little tweaks and those tweaks would, would start to move the approval rating up. So we've got, we did this. Let's look at this. What are these? Ah, apartments. And the thing is, the Mega Tower is already built. They can't get to any shopping. They're surrounded by commercial. What's the wealth level? Medium wealth. And they're surrounded by, uh, they're surrounded by high wealth shopping. It's not going down. I'd just keep an eye on it. Really nice. This is so nice. Have I missed anything? I don't think so. Nice. Yes, if you're the mayor, I would love to know about some of the things that have been shut down because you can definitely Yeah, you're you're at 51,000 simoleons an hour. Nice. Really nice. Good job with getting so many high wealth visitors to the city. Great job. What a neat city. Look, it is dominated by this landmark, this apartment. All right, let's do this. So, okay. There's, there's our industry, residential. We've got some commercial. Let's check the wind. All right, so the wind is blowing everything so you will you really wouldn't be able to build much here so we come in and we branch left and right There's got to be more that's going to be built here. This is a major highway. Where's that car going? Interesting. Well, no, that's the only way that it could... Look at those mansions.
High wealth pocket there. Oh, Nissan. Nissan Leaf charging station. Oh, another high wealth. Let's zoom out. Oh, it's heavily high wealth. Very good. Okay. Nice. Mostly green. Just a few patches of yellow here and there. Okay. No major specialized industry. Is this the only... They're happy. Is this the only tourist? Yeah. So I don't think this was placed for tourist purposes. I think it was placed just for... Just to get more residents in here. That would be my guess. It's almost 9 a.m. I already know that traffic is going to be really nice. Small population. So this is a low density road. So a low density, so when you come in I don't know why they're stopping. They don't have a stop sign. Stop sign here. Stop sign there. Now, this is just friendly advice. If this city were to continue to grow and you upgraded these roads you would be putting down a stoplight. And it's a short distance from there to there, and you could start to have some backups. If you start getting backups, you could at least on this side snip so that this is kind of a dead-end street. You wouldn't be able to do it over here. Because if you try to, to just cut this road, it's going to demolish this. And the last thing that you want to do is, is demolish a church. Because when you, when you click on it, and we may not be able to see it. Yeah, it, it doesn't show. But even when you were to click on worship and click, it will say, do not demolish a house of worship once you've placed it. You've got several of them. Plenty of power, good with water, sewage, not even 10 a.m. and nearly complete with garbage collection, nice.
got some unemployment, which is surprising. But that's an easy fix. Look at all of this. You could put down some more industry along here. Seventy seven percent approval going up across the board. Nice. This looks like a Okay, medium and high land value. Everybody's enrolled in school. Really nice. I like this. You don't always have to turn a city into a, a mega city, into a metropolis. This is nice. There's something to be said for just kind of a quaint little town. If you're the mayor, let us know if you come up with a name. Because right now, the city is, I don't I don't know what to call what to call this. And if you're not the mayor, if you're just watching suggestions for the name of this city. Wonder if if you are the mayor, it seems awfully coincidental, and maybe it's just a coincidence that we've got this wide open area. And an incredible deposit of, of oil. You're right there. I, I would take the medium taxes up to 11%. The low tax is up to 12, which will get you, which should get you positive. But most of your residents no, that would get you, that would get you positive. Two thirty eight.
That's what I would do. Take the taxes up. Let the simulation run long enough to build this up and then put down put down some oil. If that's what you're needing is to make money for this city, the money's waiting. It's it's right there. Let us know if you're the mayor and you do that or whatever you decide to do. Let us know. I'd love to come back. You know, what what is the what is the goal? What's the plan for this spot here? Really cool. Yeah, I would love to eventually get an invitation back to this. So, you know, hey, Leonard, guess what? You visited this city. Now, now come back and take a look. So, nice. Excellent. What a nice way to wrap up. Let's, let's play together five. This is nice. Really nice. Yes, this is a nice way to wrap up. Let's play together. Five. This is good. Nice. Really nice. As I've said, if you are the mayor of a city plot that you've claimed, but you did not get a chance to start building on it, let us know. We'll come back and look because we've got entire, this whole corner here is claimed, but no building took place. So yeah, we can, we can always come back. But otherwise, like I said, Let's Play Together 5 is now complete unless we're given the notice and the invitation to come back. But we'll be moving on to Let's Play Together 6 and checking out more of your cities. So until then, take care and we'll see you soon at Let's Play Together 6.